hello guys welcome to this tutorial so i received the special question like not really usual from a girl who want to start training like in sql server and ssrs but she didn't know how to get to the database like sample database and start to working with the table and get like uh, familiar with the table so i'm start in this tutorial just to gonna show where you can find like some simple database it's either to put in your local machine or if you want to like create your own database and then an own table so let's start by attaching like simple database the one that is famous from microsoft so i'm gonna go to google right now i'm just gonna type uh, adventure works yeah, actually 2012 2014 gonna take 2012 So here I'm gonna find multiple uh, the OLTP one. I'm gonna just take the one that I need. Adventure Works, this one, 2012. So yeah, you just take the database, download it. So once you download the Adventure Works. You will need to put it in a special location in order to attach it so here is my adventure works here i'm just gonna take go to my computer go to the drive c then program files then you're gonna look for microsoft sql server after that you look for the version so for me let's say I do have management studio 2012 or 2008 so if i open 2012 i'll probably need to put it into 2012 so this management studio actually you're gonna see which database i have i already have uh, sql server express so yeah you kind of see here in the folder i do have express so for 12 I'm gonna put it in 11 Express and then MS SQL then we go to data and then here we go we found all the databases here so yeah SQL Express and then connect so yeah so this is the path to put the database program files SQL server the database we have for me it's 11 for 2012 Express then MS SQL then data then here I'm gonna bring Adventure Works. I'm gonna extract it. And then I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna delete the zip file. So yeah, it said Adventure Works 2012. So I will go back to my SQL Express to attach the database. So here, just right click, attach, and then I'm gonna add, and then take it from the location. So yeah, if it doesn't really go directly to this folder, you're just gonna go back and go to SQL, program files, SQL, then MS SQL 11 Express, data, then go back here, I'm gonna choose this database, which is Adventure Works okay there we go that looks good yeah and then i have it right now adventure works check all the tables it has plenty of tables it's already with data it has some stored procedures some functions some views I mean, it's really helpful for, for training purpose. It's really helpful. So it goes by basic person, password, email, that kind of stuff. And then if you guys like wanna create schema or like uh, wanna see how, how it looks, for me, I, I kinda like go by Erwin and then do uh, reverse engineering, but you guys can do something else so 
yeah, so sh that should have already the data there. So my second uh, question would be, so this is this database in, on my local server here. This is my local server, so I'm gonna disconnect to it. And then if I try to connect, so yeah, this is on my local machine. So let's say you wanna create a database you want to put it on a server, but you don't really have a server. So let's say you don't have a Windows server to put a database there and then like start to connect and then all your users want to connect with you. So let's say you want to work you and two friends on the same database. So easy solution would be like to put it in the cloud. Yeah, I may show you how to do it in the cloud. Uh, and then you can both connect to it like it's gonna give you here and on the points so you and like your two users can start connecting to the same database and then work on it directly so i'm assuming i didn't get any question about that i'm assuming you already know um, how to create one so if you want to create one it's just new database gonna gives you like where you want to put it database name and then primary stuff and then you get just gonna put it there then you start by creating uh, tables or stuff otherwise you can do create new database go to Erwin I use Erwin a lot and then create your model then generate script to create a database so let's show the other stuff so let's show the second question which I don't want to I don't have a server and then I want to connect with some some users like let's say I have me and two developers I do I do we, we do want to connect to the same database and then we want to put it on the cloud so for me a cheap solution would be like go to Amazon Web Services you can use the Google uh, you can use the Microsoft uh, services too it's uh, called Azure you can use the uh, the other one the Google one but yeah for me I kind of prefer this one it's kind of really easy so let me sign up I'm gonna sign in with my account I'm gonna show you how like let's say you wanna oh okay Yeah, that's actually asking for the right time. So I'm gonna go back to February 8th. <laughs> so try back again. Okay, so sign in. We're gonna sign in. I'm gonna, yeah. So now I'm signing. I'm uh, my user. I'm gonna show you how to create like some users, then give access to users. So for me, for example, I do have some groups. So let's say you just wanna create a new group. I'm gonna do like uh, create, uh, let's say, some friends. We're gonna like develop with you. Let's say some friends. France developer, developer. So your France developer, let's say I'm gonna give them, um, let's, let's say everything. Here you can select, like you wanna give them only database, you wanna give them cloud front, you're gonna give them S3. So for me, I'm gonna give them like um, almost everything without management here. That's gonna change that. So yeah, so this France developer should have everything without uh, the right to create user or manage user. So let's say, let's create one called John. I'm gonna create my new friends. You're gonna show me credential here. It's okay, close it, close, go back to the group okay yeah so let's go to john 
I'm gonna put it in my group, which is uh, France developers, art group. So yeah, once John is there, he's gonna get the permission that all the group has there. So here I'm gonna manage the password, assign auto generated password, okay. So it's gonna give John a password here that he's gonna use for his first login. So the thing here, I'm gonna download certificate credential, I'm gonna show you. So if you go back, and if you go to dashboard, you see here, this link, this is for all users to connect. They cannot go to Amazon Web Service.com if they don't have an account. So for me, I'm having an account, I'm paying, but let's say I want my friends to connect with me and then like they cannot develop. So they're gonna go to this link here that you can customize and put like your any name here. So they're gonna go here. Let's see the credential. Let's see the credential. They kind of go here, and they kind of connect with the users. So for us, we created John. So let's see. Yeah, we created the username, which is John. He's gonna connect with this password first. Then he can uh, change it if he wants. And then the direct sign in will be here. So yeah, let's do it right now. Let's go by this. Okay, so let me disconnect and then connect us to John. So I'm gonna connect us this. Username will be John. Yeah, so I do have access to almost everything because this is what I get. So I'm gonna go to database. So this is the same. If I do it from my, if I do it from, if I do it from my account, if I do it from John account, it's gonna be the same. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna launch a database here. You cannot choose. I'm gonna go to SQL Server, create which one I want. Let's create SQL Server Express. Yes. I'm gonna take this one. Get 20 gigabytes. Okay. So here I'm gonna create um, user, for example, testing. Mm -hmm. Or let's say France testing. Master username. This is username would be login ID in the master user. So this one should be like the login ID. Let's say um, France DB, DB user, France DB user. Password will be France develop. Let's put it all France developers. Then France developers. Okay. Yeah. So we almost there. Create this. Create the pool. Okay. We. We'll Oh, here the backup. I don't really need the backup, so I'm gonna put it like on 30, let's put it on the max. 35 days. All right, we launched the database, which would be almost there. Yeah, the DB instance is being created, so. Mm -hmm. So let's check our instances. So I already have this one, which is available. So this is the new one, France testing which is create being created here. So we're just gonna take a look. So once it's created, it's gonna give here an under point. We're gonna copy the under points and go to our SQL server here and put put it there. Put the under points here. Let me just give you an example. So it's gonna take a while to create. It's gonna take around 10 to 20 minutes to create. 
So, for example, if I go to this database, which is already created, I put here the only points, and then use SQL Server authentication. We put the user login that we create and put the password, and then we should be able to access. Then we create our database directly. We can attach if you want something. So if you attach a database, it's gonna be created in here. And again, it's gonna be saved into Amazon Web Services. So all the data will be like saved there. Well, this is all. If you have any question, please uh, leave a comment or send me a mail. I'm gonna like do other tutorials depending on your questions. So thank you for watching and see you there.